Hi everyone, I'm back. It's been a little while since I've filmed. Um, I'm back from Hawaii, I'm in my studio. And the big news is for me is we are moving permanently to Kailua Kona in Hawaii. And so I've been pretty busy. I'm putting the house on the market next week. I'm a real estate agent, I've been one for 20 years. So I'm listing the house, we've sold the motor home, we've sold the boat. I'm selling 90% of everything I own. Um, we are moving into a condo. It's a two bedroom condo with, it's about 1900 square feet with the covered lanai's and oceans right across the street with a nice view. But um, we just decided after spending some time there the last 10 years that Hey, let's do it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get out of the fire area here and we're just going to sell everything. Actually, it feels pretty good cleaning up stuff. Um, I'm like, why didn't I do this before? So, um, yeah, all of a sudden I've had the energy to do it, which is good. I'm super tired at night. Right now it's like 10 o'clock at night and I should be in bed, but I know I need to film because, um, as you probably noticed, I've only been putting out a, a video once a week for the last couple weeks. So that's how it's going to be until we get moved. Probably in July we'll be there. I won't have a full studio, um, but I'm hoping the lanai will work for me. So anyway, um, because of that, I have a bunch of paintings I need to sell. So if you go to my Etsy shop, they're 50% off all the canvas paintings um, I'll be taking some of them but you know my plan was to do some shows this summer here once we opened up but that's not going to happen because I'm not going to be here so I wanted to show you four pieces I'm going to try to show you four pieces that are available for sale um, at super discount prices and if you're interested in any of them please Go down below and email me, and the first person that emails me will be able to get these. Um, so I'm going to show you four right now, and then we'll get to, uh, I'm doing a cloud pearl pour. And I'm using Sarah Taylor's colors, and you can find her link down below in the description. But let's talk about this first. Um, this is a 12 by 16 deep canvas, or gallery wrap canvas. I was um, ready to hang, and it's a swipe. It's real pretty, actually. I love the orange. It really sparkles. I know you can't see it, but the gold I used is it's a different gold, and it just really sparkles. So this one I'm asking forty dollars, and then you pay for shipping. Sometimes you know if you're I'm in California. So if you're close to California, it's not going to be that much. If you're further away, of course, it's going to be more. And I usually choose the cheapest way possible for people. So that one's 40. I have this one. It's 11 by 14. This one is a waterfall pour. Most of these have videos to go with them, too, so if you're interested. This one is finished on the back, ready to hang. This one's 30, or is it 30? No, 35, sorry. 35. So it's the waterfall pour. Then I have the string pull. This is at 10 by 20. Very springy colors. And it's finished on the back. This one's also, what is this one? 35. Yes, 35. And then one more. I mean, that's not why you're here. You're not here to, you know, buy my paintings, but, you know, if you want them at a discount, this is the time to do it. I love this one. Black and white swipe, and it's super glossy. It's, ugh, it's hard getting rid of some of these. But... I don't have as many walls. I don't, yeah. So if this one right here is also 40, ready to hang. Has the wires, they're all var varnished. 
So this one's 42. So I have the 12 by 16 is 40, the 11 by 14 is 35, the black and white one is 40, and the flower is 35. All right, let's get going. So the next couple of videos I have, you can skip through if you're not interested in um, buying into my art, but check out my Etsy shop if you don't see anything you like right now because there's some deals. Okay, let's talk about the colors today. So I'm using Sailor, uh, Sarah Taylor's colors. I think this looks like her color palette. And this first color is Basics Pernacridone Magenta. And this is um, also the Golden Magenta. Those two together. And then what I did is I, I put some of this Creative Inspirations Pain Gray to darken it up and make like sort of like a plum deep deep red color really pretty on um, this one I used Amsterdam what is this uh, something light hell I can't pronounce that oh sorry <laughs> I was looking at the French version olive green and to that I added again the Payne's gray to make it more olive and make it a little duller. This one is the Basics Deep Violet. So pretty. This one is the Amsterdam. What is it? What can I see today? Um, I can't see that one. I should know. Maybe if I put my other glasses on, I could see. Sorry, guys. This is Burnt Sienna. And then I added some Golden Transparent Red Oxide to make it a little bit richer. And then, of course, this one is the Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. All right, so those are my colors. The consistency is... it doesn't leave a mound and it really doesn't sink in. Now I usually make my colors just a little bit, little bit thicker than my base. And my base recipe, um, by the way, the medium in all of these colors is 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex Basics Gloss Medium. Okay, so that's the medium, and then I added water to the real thin consistency. So my base color is really thin, sinks in, sinks in barely. Um, this is three parts Floetrol. One part Artist Loft White, one part Liquitex Titanium White, Liquitex Basics, one part GAC 800, two and a half parts Bare Satin Enamel, and let me get that, show you the can here. Sorry, I don't have the top. I was using a plastic top, so it's this. The Ultra Pure White, but it's not white. It's actually like an off-white. But this is what the can looks like. So that's two and a half parts this color, off-white. One part Liquitex. Same as what I put in the colors. I think this has a lot to do with getting some nice pearls. Then water to that consistency, very thin. Okay, that's a key. Got to be thin. Got to be thin, and you gotta stretch them, stretch those colors out. Okay, this is a 12 by 24 canvas. 
taped on the back, gallery wrapped. So let's get going here. All right, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna get plenty of this on. No rhyme or reason, I just pour it on there. Some people do it. I like to spread it out a little bit. So it's nice to be back in my studio though. Um, but I'm eager to get over there, get back over there and set up over there. If you haven't been to Kona, check it out. If you have any questions about any of the processes I do, techniques, go ahead and put it down below. I'd love to have a comment from you. Please comment, subscribe, like. wondering if that's enough. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. I can always add more color after. I like those colors together. All right, let's try to tilt this. burnt sienna in there. It's disappearing right now. It, it might pop back up. All right. Let's do it. I think I'm going to go your way first. Magenta. Ooh, one big. Okay, I'm gonna come this way. as much paint on there as I thought. So I'm getting the zigzag, which I'm not real fond of, but we'll make something of it. Go 
petals are starting to come up. stretch it. You should start coming up. I'll go ahead and put you on. Well, I want to see. I might want to do some stuff here. Add some colors. I was curious on using that Amsterdam, I'm not the Amsterdam, but the Basics Titanium White. I know it seems to give off smaller cells, smaller pearls, and I can already see that right here. And I don't mind that. I was sort of hoping I would get both. Looks like might be what's happening. I'm going to do some work on the sides here for a minute, put you on time lapse, and I'll be back. I think um, I didn't get as many pearls as I thought, and there's different sizes, but it's just I don't. I think I made a mistake by mixing the Liquitex with the Artist Loft because I know that this base paint works. So I'm just going to keep working at it here. Trying to make something of it. I have to learn how to be a little looser as a painter um, and just sort of let it flow, but it's sometimes it's not easy, especially when been so busy and my mind is not on it. I don't want to overwork it. I think I might be done here. So if it changes anymore, I'll bring you back. Give you a close up. I'm gonna wait another 15 minutes, and I think that's it for this one. Not exactly what I expected, but very different. I love the colors, and I hope you like it too. So please tell me what you think down in the description, and I'll. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down. I should have just stuck with my regular recipe. But it's pretty cool. 
We got different size pearls, little ones. Got magenta really pearled up good. Yeah, I think I'll try another one with these colors and put more paint on the canvas next time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out my Etsy shop, the big sale, and all my social sites. Aloha. Bye.